Heated issue 7 Eyewitness News has been following for years now. Unruly party goers causing all kinds of problems in Buffalo's University Heights neighborhood. And the people who live there say they want it to stop. So they are banding together once again in search of some kind of a solution. Once again, here's 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Branch. I'm just going through the list here. Pam Landell rattled off a whole host of ideas. Check IDs of kids getting on and off the bus. Scan the IDs of every passenger. To stop a party problem in Buffalo's University Heights neighborhood, especially after a weekend of annoyances and arrests. I think this was the worst I have ever seen it. Landell was one of about 50 people at this community meeting pondering the problem, citing safety as the biggest worry. We're concerned about the safety of these students that are going into these houses cramming in 150, sometimes 200 people in one house. Structurally, they're not equipped to handle that. But beyond that, neighbors are not happy with the noise and the nonsense that goes on around them. We made 20 arrests over the weekend. Police Chief Carmen Menzies says the department is proactively cracking down on underage drinking and house parties, arresting the hosts. We have to let the students know that it's not okay to be out here having these uh, unbelievably large, loud college parties because it affects the quality of life for the citizens. The ramifications of arrest are far-reaching, which is concerning for some UB students. The solution isn't to, say, cut off everything and arrest people because a lot of these um, students, they have a future here. When 19-year-olds are getting arrested and having a permanent record the rest of their lives for something that 99% of college Americans do, uh, it's just tragic. But the real tragedy, Pam Landell says, is if students left. We want them to feel safe. We want them to feel welcome. But she wants them to behave. Now, nothing is final that's come out of this meeting tonight, but Buffalo police do say they're going to be out in full force in this neighborhood once again this weekend.